First up, Taylor has been all over Travis this last year or so. She has also been all over the world. The only place she hasn't been, though, is Travis Kelsey's Instagram feed. But from the looks of it, this is about to change big time. Next in, Taylor is proving to be not just the best girlfriend, but the most adorable BFF. And once you hear the privileges and perks her friends get, you'll want to be her friend too. And while at that, have you noticed how Taylor and Travis's entire style has had a complete makeover since their romance went public? These two are sure influencing each other in more ways than one. And you're not even ready for this next one, because Jason Kelsey just accidentally dropped a Taylor Swift pun on his podcast, and Travis is grilling the living hell out of him. For this and more, let's jump in. Making things insta-official Travis is totally stoked for the NFL season to kick off, and it looks like Swifties are just as excited. After the Chiefs' season opener, Kelsey posted on Instagram about how much he missed Arrowhead Stadium. His post included a cool video montage with clips from both on and off the field. But here's the twist. Taylor, who showed up to cheer him on at the game, didn't make an appearance in the video. Not one! Cue the Swifty speculation. One fan couldn't resist asking, when is Taylor going to be Insta-official? Another chimed in with, now this is the important question, and someone else cheered them on for asking the important questions. The original fan later clarified they were just joking, but it still got people buzzing about whether we'll see Tavis together on Kelsey's feed soon. Signings as we have up in the booth, Taylor Swift making an appearance right there. I believe that is Travis Kelsey's father. Earlier this summer, Swift made things Instagram official by posting a selfie with Kelsey, along with Prince William, Prince George, and Princess Charlotte from one of her Eras Tour shows in London. She also shared a sweet moment when Kelsey made a surprise appearance on stage, gushing about how she was cracking up swooning over him. While Kelsey might be keeping his Insta a bit more low-key, he's not shy about their relationship elsewhere. On his podcast, New Heights, he regularly raves about Swift. Just this week, he mentioned her while discussing the MTV VMAs and her multiple nominations. So while Kelsey might be keeping his Insta feed Taylor free for now, their love story definitely continues to make waves. New News is presented by the MTV Video Music Awards. Hey! -o. Hopefully Taylor can walk away with a few. She's nominated for about 10 of those things tonight. Those are always Moon one of the cooler trophies. Is that, what, yeah, the, is that what the trophies is? Yeah, the space guys. Oh, she hopefully she can walk away with some uh, some moon men. Let me get let me get some eyes on this. It's, it's a moon men. I want to know what this it thing before. looks like. Yeah, it's the big silver moon guy with the American flag, I think. Wishing everybody the best, though. Unless you're up against Tay, then I hope you lose. <laughs> MTV Music. I think I know exactly what it is. Let's go, Tay. Come on, Tay. Stay on top. Swift's Galentine's party. But Taylor's not just a wonderful girlfriend. She may also be the BFF of the century. And it surely must be great to have a friend like Taylor. JoJo Siwa spilled the beans about a memorable Galentine's Day party she attended at Taylor's place, and it sounds like a blast. In an excerpt from JoJo's new memoir, Over the Influence, she reveals that Selena Gomez invited her to Taylor's house for a Galentine celebration. Taylor's place turned into a DIY paradise with arts and crafts galore. They snapped pics, filled out fun questionnaires about their best and worst qualities, and even spilled the tea on why they were single. JoJo recounts sneaking outside to hit up an in-and-out truck parked on Taylor's lawn for a burger and fries, all while texting the guy she was obsessing over at the time. This old girl's night at Taylor's was the perfect distraction from this boy who was completely unavailable, she writes. The party likely took place at one of Taylor's Beverly Hills homes, since In-N-Out isn't exactly a New York City or Nashville staple. Taylor used to own three properties, but now calls the former Samuel Goldwyn estate her home. At the party, JoJo appreciated how Taylor was not only super sweet, but also deeply supportive. Taylor even mentioned how messed up it was that JoJo couldn't release music due to her legal woes, she was letting me know she was on my side and believed in me, JoJo shared. It's clear that Taylor's support and the Galentine's Day bash were a bright spot for JoJo, and it seems Taylor is shining her way through it all. Tavis has changed each other. Since Travis and Taylor started dating in September 2023, they've been pretty much inseparable. They've been together for over a year now, and their public displays of affection and high-profile outings show no signs of slowing down. 
From belting out songs at the U.S. Open to cheering on the Chiefs at NFL games, their love story has become one of America's most adorable couples. It's almost like they're on a mission to prove that they're the ultimate power couple. It's pretty common for couples to let themselves go a bit as they get closer. There's even a joke about gaining the relationship 15 as a sign of true love. But Travis and Taylor seem to be sidestepping that trope, even though some fans have noticed that they've been through a bit of a style transformation since becoming the world's most famous couple. Travis recently debuted a new mustache and a haircut that some are calling a bowl cut, and it's causing quite the stir online. Some fans think he might be embracing the boyfriend effect, where a guy feels less pressure to impress anyone else once he's found the love of his life. One user joked that Travis must have asked his barber for the most awkward haircut to let everyone know he's off the market. Most fans aren't exactly loving the new look, though. One fan wrote, Travis Kelsey really downgraded with that mustache. He used to be so cute. Another added, Travis Kelsey looks dumb as hell with that mustache. And the next one didn't hold back either. Travis Kelsey's mustache is awful. There's even some chatter that Travis looks a bit dopier than before. <laughs> when they first got together, Travis was known for his sharp suits and well-groomed buzz cut with a beard. Now, he's rocking bucket hats and a mustache that fans can't stop talking about. A fan even compared him to a mix of Paul Blart, John Cena, and Ned Flanders with his new look. On the flip side, Taylor has been absolutely slaying her style game lately. She's always been known for her classic sparkly gowns and laid-back makeup, but she's turning heads with a more high-fashion, edgy look recently. Her appearance at the 2024 VMAs was particularly striking, with a sexier vibe that left her girl-next-door image behind. Fans are loving Taylor's new look. One praised, Taylor Swift looks the best she's ever looked at the VMAs. Another added, she is owning her sexiness these days and I love it. While one wondered, is it too soon to say this is my fave look she's ever worn? And another noted, her makeup has been hitting different lately. So whether it's love or just a new chapter in their lives, both Travis and Taylor are definitely turning heads. If they stick together for another year, who knows what other style transformations might be in store. Jason Kelsey Pun in other news, Travis had some fun ribbing his brother Jason after he accidentally slipped in a Taylor Swift pun on their podcast. The Kelsey brothers were talking about Travis's upcoming game with the Chiefs against the Cincinnati Bengals on New Heights when Jason made an unintentional nod to Taylor's hit song Bad Blood. There's been bad blood between you two teams for four or five years now, Jason said about the matchup schedule for Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium. Travis, ever the tease, jumped in with a grin. Okay, bad blood, I hear you, bad blood. Jason couldn't stop laughing, saying the wordplay just happens naturally, but Travis wasn't letting it slide. It's just in you now, he said, poking fun at his brother. Jason defended himself, saying Swift's use of common phrases doesn't help. Travis joked that he'd never even heard the phrase until Taylor used it in her song. You've got to be bro anyways, Jason said, clearly over it, and quickly steered the convo back to football. Flavor Flav counting on wedding. Flavor Flav is doubling down on his support for Taylor and Travis in a big way. He's gunning to officiate their wedding. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. The iconic rapper said that if Taylor and Travis tie the knot, he's ready to don the preacher's robe and say the vows. I think they're going to be together for a while, Flav shared, while promoting his new gig with Smart Food Popcorn. And if they get married, I want to be the one to marry them. Um, where we were shooting it and that, that one person was my boyfriend, Travis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everything this man touches turns to happiness and fun and magic, so I want to thank him for, for adding that too. I, I'm always trying to figure out a way to say thank you to you for making my life what it is. Thank you for what you've done. This video seems very sad when you watch it, but it actually was like the most fun and we'd be done with that take. I would always just hear like someone like, like cheering and like taking me forever to get him to stop calling me ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. Flav's been a longtime fan of Swift and thinks she's in a fantastic place right now, especially with Kelsey by her side. Although Flav has yet to hang out with Swift or Kelsey, he's eagerly hoping for that day to come. 
He's a big fan of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey, calling them two of his favorite NFL players. I'd love to sit down and have dinner with Taylor and my boy Travis, Flav said. Can't wait to meet Travis. Flav's admiration for Swift doesn't stop at just wanting to be her wedding efficient. He's even entertaining the idea of being crowned king of all Swifties. She's such a great soul, a fantastic musician, and a real lyricist, he gushed. That's why I support her so hard. All her fans gave me a brand new name because of it. The rapper recently crossed paths with Swift at the 2024 MTV Video Music Awards, where he and Olympian Jordan Childs presented her with the Best Collaboration Award for her collab with Post Malone. Flav's excitement was palpable, and he even formed a heart with his hands as Swift accepted the award, in which she thanked him for his support. New addition to Kelsey Clan. Let's talk about the other brother for a minute because he has the most adorable news ever and must I say, totally Taylor Swift approved. Jason Kelsey just dropped some major family news on the latest episode of his New Heights podcast, which he co-hosts with Travis. The retired Philadelphia Eagles center introduced his adorable new puppy, Nessie, and the excitement was palpable. Fans were loving it. The dog has no idea what kind of golden ticket she won being in that house, one follower summed up perfectly. In their usual playful banter, Travis couldn't resist commenting, Oh, that is a good-looking pup right there. On camera, Nessie showered Jason with sweet kisses, but the new dog, Dad, had a playful warning too. She's coming off real sweet right now. She is a terror, Jason joked. She's the most food-aggressive dog we've ever had in our life. Nessie is a white and gray Irish wolfhound, and it's clear she's going to be a beloved addition to the Kelsey family. She's stepping into the spotlight after the passing of their previous dog. Looks like Nessie is joining a very exciting crew, and we cannot wait till the new pup meets Auntie Taylor. They'll love each other. Have you seen Nessie yet, our new puppy? I've been watching that baby wolf, that coyote walking around behind you for the past, like, five minutes. Come on. That's a good-looking pup. Oh, 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 say oh, hi to everybody. That is a good-looking pup right say there. Say hi to everybody, girl. Get up in the sink already, pulling dishes out with her teeth. Oh, sh She's the most food aggressive dog we've ever had in our life. Don't don't you go in that toilet bowl. The famous Kelsey way of fathering. Hey, hey, it's about enough. That was like such a Jedi mind trick. You All right, well, where were we? Don't make me get up. Last thing you want to make me do is get up. <laughs> huh? The little hinge one. She gets up and she hits it, pulls it open. I'm like, what the f is this dog? Hey, seated so long in front of a Law and Order television set. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.